and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most common questions we get, which is how to activate and deactivate SOLIDWORKS standalone licenses. This is something we also refer to as machine activation. Now with SOLIDWORKS open, and I'm looking at SOLIDWORKS 2020 here, you would simply go to the help menu, and from the drop down we can see some information like about SOLIDWORKS, where we can get more information about what version and service pack you're using, and you can look at what serial number you're using. But in here, this is where we go to deactivate SOLIDWORKS. In SOLIDWORKS 2020, we have licenses, and we can go to activate, deactivate, and show. In SOLIDWORKS 2019 and older products, they'll show up as separate items in the list, activate licenses and deactivate licenses. To deactivate SOLIDWORKS, you simply just select deactivate, choose the product that we're deactivating, in this case SOLIDWORKS, and the method of how we're deactivating. In this case, we recommend using automatically over the internet because this is quick and easy, especially if you have an internet connection. Manually via email will generate a text file, which you then have to send to an activation email of SOLIDWORKS, which you will then receive a corresponding text file to input in, and that will deactivate the software. So once you select the method and the product that you're going to activate, you simply click next, and it'll work through the deactivation process. You should receive a window that says deactivation succeeded, click finish, and it should close down the program. Now I can reopen up SOLIDWORKS, or if maybe I was opening up this program on another machine that was using the same serial number, it will then ask me to activate my product. Simply just click next, choose the product I'm activating, in this case again it's SOLIDWORKS, and I'm going to choose the automatically over internet method of activation. Very quick and easy. Just simply click next, and it'll activate the product, and you should see an activation succeeded window, which will show you what products have activated when they expire. You can click finish and then simply wait for SOLIDWORKS to finish opening and you can get to work.